Well, it is with tremendous and great excitement that the Mississippi Cannabis Patients Alliance announces a one-of-a-kind, remarkable program, a collaborative agreement between the Relief App and the University of Mississippi to study the medicinal benefits of medical cannabis. This program will help thousands and thousands of patients across our state and potentially around the world in understanding the benefits of medical cannabis. And so we are just thrilled about this agreement. It is going to be something that will make Mississippi number one. We will be a leader in, in research. Would you like to say something? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, Tyler Dautrick, COO at Relief App, and we're really excited to be working with the MCPA and, and Ole Miss team here to really drive Mississippi as a leading uh, force in medical cannabis research. I think there's a, a real opportunity here for a true seed to outcome program to be put in place where there can be better resources, transparency, and information presented to the patient community allow them to find safer, faster relief and ideally spend less time and money getting there. And I think there's a lot of uh, opportunity to help Larry and team kind of navigate the path forward to more of the, the clinical research that his team has historically done. So we're excited and, and we're looking forward to the program launching here and, and what's to come. Thanks so much. Uh, I'm Larry Walker. I'm the interim director of the National Center for Cannabis Research and Education at the University of Mississippi. Um, many of you may know that we've had a program for many years of uh, research at the federal level and providing cannabis for research. <clears throat> We're looking forward to moving in new directions here within the state of Mississippi and in this partnership with MCPA and with Relief App to be able to, uh, with the data they're gathering, be able to analyze that data, begin to drill down a bit onto the types of um, conditions that where improvements are being seen, what doses are involved, the routes of administration, helping to kind of advance our knowledge base about how medicinal, medical cannabis can be beneficial to patients and used effectively and safely. And uh, as, as Tyler mentioned, that helps us shape research directions for the future. How can we actually use those data to design a study that our doctors and patients can participate in and begin to look in more depth at how it's working, why it's working, and what patients is it working, where are there potential risk and of side effects and things like that. So we're we're excited about uh, kind of a new horizon in, in Mississippi and actually in the nation because I don't think many states have been able to, uh, any states have really been able to mount a program like that from the beginning. And Tyler, um, if you'll share, you know, kind of feedback on what Larry just said about, you know, how this could become a national or even worldwide, uh, you know, setting for medical cannabis research. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, there's other states out there that have attempted to implement some type of statewide research program, but those have either got stalled up or kind of failed to come to fruition. And a lot of the research that's out there right now on cannabis is, is cannabis or CBD beneficial for a specific symptom or condition? And from a patient's perspective, that doesn't really help them with going into their local dispensary here in Mississippi, understanding what to buy and how to use it. In this particular instance, we're again able to really implement a seed to outcome program here where with Angie and the MCPA team, we can uh, work with the patient community, we can get them signed up to participate, and then we can also push that information back to them to help them be more informed. We can use the software and tools that we have to plug in and start collecting not only the product data on the brands, the labels, and all of that, but also why patients are actually using these products. What symptoms and conditions are patients using these products for? What's the impact that those products are having on the severity of their symptoms and condition? And what, are, what other feelings, side effects, and emotions are they experiencing? And from there, we can push that data off to Larry and the Ole Miss team, where there's opportunities to do research just on that. For example, with our data from Relief App now, we have 11 studies published in different medical journals that, again, are very broad in regards to just is cannabis or CBD beneficial? What THC CBD ratio is beneficial? In this instance, we're able to really narrow in on the Mississippi market and make all of those answers actionable for patients within the state of Mississippi so that they can be more informed when they're walking into that dispensary on 
this is this product has some level of research in regards to being effective for what I'm needing relief from. And then as Larry mentioned, in, in addition, we can use the data to make more informed decisions on either priority needs or opportunities to do more structured studies where we can lean more into the gold standard clinical route that Larry and team have uh, decades of experience doing where we can bring more just validation to the efficacy of these products. And again, I think the, the really unique factor here that Mississippi can kind of take charge on is that it all can be localized within the state. It all can be actionable within the state. It's not something where a patient gets this and reads, okay, cannabis can help with my Crohn's disease, but if I go into the dispensary, I don't know what I'm supposed to get now. We can change that narrative and really make it localized and informative and actionable for the state of Mississippi. And, you know, we're seeing as the program has launched here in Mississippi last week that patients are seeing that the prices are relatively expensive. And so, you know, our goal with the Mississippi Cannabis Patients Alliance is to make those products more affordable in the end, you know, and however we can do that is great. But one thing that this actual research program will eventually help our patients with is finding out you know, not through trial and error, but through real research and data that proves what products are going to work best for those conditions. And so they won't be wasting money on products that may or may not work, and, you know, through a guessing game like we had to do with our son in Colorado. And so this is a, a going to be something that will help just really literally, you know, hundreds of thousands of people, not only in our state, but around the world to be able to walk into a dispensary and know right off the bat what products are going to work best for certain debilitating medical conditions. And so we're really excited about that. Um, I also want to officially announce that my son, Austin Calhoun, is with us and he will be joining us on this research uh, endeavor as well. And so he'll be out in the field meeting and greeting with our um, industry and helping our patients to get onboarded. And so I'm really thankful and uh, excited to have my, my son back home with us uh, officially forever and to be a part of this in wonderful and incredible endeavor that we're, in, we're on upon. Can I ask a question? You sure may. Um, when is, how is this going to work? When does it kick off and how is, I guess, patients will go to this app and then they'll be connected to folks at Ole Miss yes. and will this be voluntary? Yes, it is all voluntary and it, the data is collected collected anonymously and it's HIPAA compliant. So, you know, the patients don't have to worry about their information being shared, you know, with with other avenues. And so um, we will officially launch, um, you know, here within the next day, the app. It is also, you can go to our website. It's misscanapatient.com. We have a research page there and they can start, you know, uh, right there signing up for the relief app. We actually are, have been for quite some time collecting um, emails from patients who want to volunteer for medical cannabis research. So we have an extensive list of those patients and they will immediately get an email notifying them that they can now officially use the relief app that's focused around the questions here in Mississippi that need to be answered about medical cannabis. For people who haven't had a chance to go into a dispensary yet or you know, still waiting on their cards to be verified, what kind of a variety does it look like behind the scenes for people who are able to purchase already? So right now, our state labs are only approved to uh, test for flour or pre-rolls. And so um, right now, that is what patients are going to be able to get. And so, but very, very soon, our labs will open up as they become, you know, get their equipment more collaborative. Uh, Calibrated. Calibrated. There we go. As the equipment becomes more calibrated and uh, in and precise in testing for the other uh like edibles and things like that and vape cartridges and concentrates, then they'll be able to get approval from the Department of Health to start testing for those as well. But it'll happen really soon. Uh, we, you know, we're a young industry and, you know, products are just now, you know, getting out to the market and being able to be tested and then, you know, on into the dispensaries. You know, the beauty of our, our, our program, and I've always said this, is that we are going to have safe, clean, tested products that are bought legally in licensed dispensaries. And so, you know, we are seeing a little bit of, um, you know, a lag in the dispensaries opening. While we do have, you know, close to 20 open across the state, there will be many, many more. But, you know, many are still in build-out phases or getting their final approval. So just 
familiar with this. Uh, this is actually coming to fruition in a record time. No other state has implemented a medical cannabis program in under a year. And so we're really thankful that this is here to help our patients across our state. I wanted to clarify, is this research going to be looking at various strains of the cannabis plant, or is it going to be looking at different strains or different ways to administer the um, cannabis? I think, yeah, all across the board, to be honest, you know, I, I mentioned it earlier, a lot of the research and data that's out there now is on, is cannabis or CBD beneficial for a, a symptom or condition? And I think we really want to, and Larry can elaborate on this, I think we really want to dive deeper than that. We really want to look at what ratios and formulations are actually most effective for different symptoms and conditions, what dosing uh, regimens are most effective for these specific symptoms or conditions. So I think there will be broad where it is like a strain or a product or wh what have you, where we can look at some high level data on, you know, the, the group of individuals or patients who are using this are finding this uh, product to be effective for these reasons. But then it's getting much more granular into the why, because what it really comes down to is you know when you look at this or when you try to think about this from a standard medicine perspective when you go to a doctor you're getting a very specific prescription for a very specific product that you're supposed to use at a specific dosing regimen that's just not available right now in the cannabis space but the products are similar in that capacity to where each product has a very specific formulation or chemical composition that makes it up there's just no data that shows which chemical composition or which formulation or which ratio is actually most effective for whatever you want to find eff efficacy for. And with Larry and team and with the data that we're able to collect, I think we're going to be able to start to lean into that and provide some answers there so that when a patient's walking into a dispensary, you know, they're not relying on, I need to look for this specific product name from this specific brand. They can start to look at label contents and the info on the label and understand I need to be within this range of THC or this range of CBD or have these types of terpenes or minor cannabinoids available in there because that's where I'm finding the most relief. That's what's really helping alleviate my symptoms, et cetera, et cetera. And again, that's just, there's no data there right now. And that's what we're really excited to, to dive into and shine some light on here in, in Mississippi. Any other questions? Just, um, how did this partnership come to be? Like, how did you all get connected? Well, it's it's really a surreal story. Um, as y'all know, my son Austin has spent a good bit of time in Colorado. He went there to get relief, actually, for his debilitating medical condition. And he had been on 17 pharmaceutical prescriptions. We found that medical cannabis worked. But while uh, one day he came in with a dispensary bag, and in that bag was a brochure. And I pulled it out, and I was looking at it, and, and it was a relief out brochure. And it was telling about the you know way that they collect data and, and do so much to help our patients. And I thought, wow, you know, we need the University of Mississippi to be involved in that because I knew that they had been working for 50 years in the medical cannabis uh, field. And so it is a surreal dream come true for me today that I have these men here with me, these two companies that we've formed this collaborative agreement. Um, you know, God is in the details and he has, he's truly blessed me with this endeavor that we can help not only Mississippi patients, but patients all over the world.